Hi, this is JP from Know the Lights of Arkham. Welcome to the first uh, scenario of the Edge of the Earth uh, campaign, and it is the Ice and Death scenario, part one. I will be playing these parts as separate videos, so this will only include the part one of this scenario. I decided to do this to keep the episode length at uh, a handleable size so it won't be like a really long video for the first scenario. I have already done the prelude and setup for this scenario so uh, we decided to add one tablet to the back and uh, this is because the investigators did not believe uh, Dyer's report so we'll add this tablet token to the chaos bag we already have one uh, frost token in the bag then uh, during the um, setup of this scenario we had the plane crash uh, I won't read all the <laughs> fluff text for that or any other fluff text because there is so much of it so uh, I recommend you read it yourself when you're playing uh, for the full story, but we crashed and one uh, expedition member was killed and that was uh, Avery Claypool, uh, Claypool and uh, He is underneath the card here as a reference that you are killed uh, We decided to take uh, James Cookie Fredericks as our expedition member as uh, uh, for this scenario because Monterey doesn't have that good of a way to deal with enemies and I really don't know what we are facing except of course I've already played this once to uh, get myself familiarized with the rules of this scenario so uh, this will be the second playthrough and this will continue with this series so I will first play the scenario uh, scratch the result and play it again and keep that result that I film so uh, we start at the crash site, we have the Takalili uh, deck here, so when we are forced to add a Takalili weakness into our deck, I'll just grab the top card up there and add it to my deck. So, um, this isn't that long of a scenario, but uh, it depends on how much do you want to cam gamble on finding the shelter uh, site that is the highest number possible so uh, let's start and see how Monterey Jack does so let's get started and uh, just a reminder I went through uh, Monterey Jack's deck in the previous video so if you're interested uh, the uh, deck list is in the video description and you can see uh, the deck over you in the previous video so check that out but uh, we are ready to begin so let's draw our opening hand and start so our objective is to uh, scout around and find the best shelter to uh, build the base camp for us so we'll draw our opening hand and we get uh, quick thinking, hit me, scout ahead, obfuscation, and sled dogs. Uh, well, well, not really liking this hand that, mu that much. Um, I'm thinking, should I keep the sled dogs? I think I'm keeping the sled dogs and trashing everything else, so we'll mulligan four. So we get the lockpicks, we get the backpack, a, s a shortcut, and unexpected courage. So we'll shuffle the rest back into the deck. Uh, the map for this scenario is quite big. We start with four locations, but when we reveal a new location, we'll add the connecting um, unexplored locations, or um, they are called uncharted locations to the table so there is a bit of uh, added setup during the scenario but it is not that big of a deal 
so that is the deck shuffled. We'll start by playing the lock picks. Uh, they cost three. And I think I'm playing the backpack also. Or actually, let's back up. I won't play the uh, lock picks yet because it might matter if we get something else worth playing from the backpack. So the backpack comes into play. We uh, reveal a six cards from the top of our deck and put as uh, item assets into play. Well, we get <laughs> another backpack and another lock picks. Not the best, but at least we have a backpack. Uh, or, or another lock picks if we manage to break the first one. So that is the deck shuffled. So we'll play the backpack, this underneath it. Then we'll play the lock picks. And that is our uh, first two actions. Uh, last action. I think we'll move to the treacherous path. So, uh, no penalty or a cost to move here yet. Oh yeah, uh, we won't actually move there yet. Uh, there is a test on this location to find some uh, spare parts, and I have no idea what the spare parts do, but I think they are important. So, I'm doing the agility version of this test, so 5 versus uh, 3. So, let's see how this goes. <laughs> and it is an auto fail, so... No luck. So we can try again next turn, which I think I will do, but that is our turn, we ready up. Uh, Forced Learning uh, draws us two cards and we have to discard one, and uh, I think I'm taking the Obfuscation and discarding the Unexpected Courage. Then we gain one resource, and that is that turn, let's go to the next turn. We add a Doom to the agenda. The encounter card for this turn is uh, Through the Eyes. Revelation attached to the nearest location without a copy of Through the Eyes attached as an additional cost for you to enter or leave at that location except by a scenario card effect. Test agility to if you fail, cancel the effect of the move and take one damage and one horror and discard this uh, Through the Eyes. So I'll attach it over here. Uh, first action. We'll try the. Uh, test here again, so 5 versus 3, it is a 0, so I'll mark it uh, with this Elder Sign token, that we have succeeded in that. Second action, now we will move, so I'll have to test Agility 2 versus, uh, versus 5, so it is a Skull, and the Skulls are X, X is the half of the shelter value of your location rounded up, so it is a zero, because the shelter number is zero on this location. So we are able to move, and I'll just discard this, because we're not moving back uh, this turn. So, uh, treacherous path, and now we need to add some locations. We have a, quite a lot of locations for this scenario. So there is one two over here. And force, after you reveal one or more uh, Frost tokens during a skill test at Treacherous Path, take one damage or horror for each Frost token revealed. And uh, we have this guide, so we know what uh, locations we need to add. So the only location connected here is this one. So let's see. It is the Rocky Crags. And it is here. Connection marker here. And as an additional cost for you to enter this location, investigators at the location must spend one clue per investigator as a group. So we need this clue here. So I'm using the lockpicks. Investigating 9 versus 2. And it is an auto fail. <laughs> so not a good start. Uh, we lose the lockpicks and uh, we don't get the clue. So pretty bad starting for. Monterey, but it is what it is, and that is our turn. Uh, no enemies, we go to upkeep. We draw uh, two cards, we discard one, so I'm discarding the weakness. I'll get the perception, I uh, will gain one resource, and uh, we moved. And uh, well, I didn't use Jack's ability at the end of the round, so that is that. 
Well, uh, that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We'll start by adding a doom. So, two or four encounter cards for this turn is an ancient evil. So, we'll add one doom. And that is that. So, uh, first action, we'll just try to investigate four versus two. Um, thinking if I should commit the, well, I'm saving the unexpected unexpected courage this time. So uh, another auto fail. Uh, we'll try again. This is not heating, dude, for check. So minus one. Finally, we are able to get this clue. And uh, yeah, I forgot these clues from my last playthrough. So we'll just remove those. So we have one clue. Last action. Uh, we'll move to rocky cracks and we'll spend the clue and uh, it is a three shard location with two clues we add a few more uh, locations then uh, forced when a treachery is attached to rocky cracks the treachery gains search max one per base and the shelter is three so uh, if, when we have a location with shelter enough that we are happy with. Uh, there must be no clues at the, that location and we have to resign or, or we can resign then and end the scenario but I think three is not enough so uh, I think that is that turn and yeah we still need to add a few locations so we have uh, Bridget Cave, we have a uh, Crystalline Cavern and we have uh, remnants of lake camp. No, uh, uh, we have the barrier camp actually. So those three locations come into play. Uh, the barrier camp comes over here. Bridget Cape comes over here, and the crystalline cavern comes over here. And uh, connection location, connection tokens come into play here here and over here and we need four clues to move here and here and two clues to move here so I'm thinking getting these two clues moving there and seeing uh, what we can do from there so we go to the upkeep phase we ready uh, draw uh, now mm, I'm taking one uh, resource for moving out at the end of my turn then I'll draw two cards with uh, force learning I'll pick. Uh, mm, I feel uh, we want to get Leo, so we'll discard breaking and entering. And that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We start by adding a doom, so the agenda actually advances. So the first agenda is quite fast. So let's see. Mm, Spawn a set aside skittering nonsense at the lead investigator's location. Shuffle the remainder of the set aside skittering nonsense enemies and the set aside creatures in the ice encounter set into the encounter deck. So we have the creatures in the ice here. We have the skittering nonsenses. One comes into play and the rest are shuffled into the encounter deck. So now we have a bunch of enemies in the deck. Lucky we have Cookie in play, so we have some means to deal with those enemies of course uh, we can also evade and run but we'll see which uh, tactic is best for for us so i think that is enough shuffling for the encounter deck just mark this enemy so it's engaged with us then we draw an encounter card and it is another ancient evil so we'll add so, uh, first thing first, I think I will use Cookie's custom 32 to fight, and fighting 5 versus uh, 2, and this attack deals 2 damage, so hopefully we'll kill this enemy off right away. It is a cultist, and cultist minus 2, and if you fail something happens, but we succeed, so this skittering nonsense is defeated, and when you defeat skittering nonsense, shuffle the top card of the Tekelili uh, deck into your deck without looking at it and if you cannot the 
nonsense attacks you, but you shuffle this top card here, over here. And uh, it says, don't look at it, so we don't know which uh, Takalili weakness it is. And second action, we'll spend resources to play lockpicks. Last action, we'll investigate using the lockpicks. I'm investigating 9 versus 3. Uh, minus 4. So it's a 7 versus 9, so we don't break the lockpick, lock. thankfully, we grab one clue. And that is our turn. Uh, we didn't move this round, so we don't get the Jack's ability. We're ready up, we draw two cards, discard one, and I am actually keeping the... Uh, I'm out of here. And getting one resource. So that is that turn. We're ready the lockpicks also. And let's go to the next turn. We add a Doom. Encounter card for this turn is... It is the Manifestation of Madness. It is a 3-3-3 monster Eidolon Hunter. Forced when the Manifestation of Madden, Madness attacks you, shuffle the top two cards of the Jackalili deck into your deck without looking at them. For each card you cannot shuffle, Manifestation of Madness deals one damage, plus one damage and plus one horror for this attack, so... I think we want to evade this enemy. So first action will be evading. Uh, 5 versus 3. Uh, thinking if I want to commit anything. I think I'm fine. 5 versus 3. Let's evade. It doesn't have an alert or anything. So... Uh, it is a skull, so the shroud uh, shelter here is 3, so uh, it is 2, minus 2, so we are uh, able to evade it, which is good. Second action, we'll uh, use the lockpicks to investigate. Uh, 9 versus 3. Another skull, so we are uh, uh, succe successful at uh, investigating, and I will actually. I won't use the shortcut, so I'll just move to the Frigid Cave. So we spent two clues, and there are two clues, uh, clues here, and a shroud of four. And that is our turn. So at the end of the round, I'll take one source for Jack's ability of moving, then uh, we'll go to the upkeep, so we ready up, we draw two cards, we get the scout ahead and shortcut, so I'll grab the scout ahead actually, and uh, gain one resource. So that is that turn, let's go to the next turn. Uh, we had a doom, three of seven. Encounter card for this turn is Ice Shaft Test Agility 3 for each Frost Token revealed during this test. Take 1 damage. If you fail, take 2 damage. I am testing. Uh, let's see if I want to commit anything. So I'm 5 versus 3 at the moment. I think we're fine testing. So 5 versus 3. It is a minus 3. We fail. We take 1 damage. And uh, that is that. Uh, first action we'll use the lockpicks to investigate. Uh, 9 versus 4. It is a minus 3 for each point you fail by, we don't fail, and we, um, it is 9 versus 7 then, so we succeed and grab one clue and don't break the lockpick. Second action we will uh, investigate again. We could add one uh, frost token to the back to get the supplies, but I think we don't have time for that. I'm using the perception to investigate. So, 6 versus 4. It is minus 1, we'll grab the clue. We also grab a 
get a card and we get the Take a Lily weakness. Take one horror, place Take a Lily on the bottom of the Take a Lily deck. So we take one horror. That was not nice, but at least we don't have that in our deck anymore. And uh, last action we'll play uh, Scout Ahead. So move, move up to three times. Enemies do not engage you during this movement. So we spend one resource to move. We move one, two, three over here. And that is our turn. We moved uh, more than two locations. We get one card, Nimble, and we gain one resource for Jack's ability. The enemy phase starts and this guy hunts here. And uh, we'll go to upkeep, we ready, we draw two cards, discard one, and I'm thinking we'll grab Sledge Dog, we have the obfuscation already. And that is that turn, oh, we get one resource, and that is that, so that is that turn, let's go to the next turn. We add another Doom, 4 of 7, encounter card for this turn is a Polar Vortex attached to your location. When you end your turn at attached location, each card control will health, takes one direct damage. At the end of the round, this card will this, uh, okay, so we'll play it over there, but we are moving right away. This actually is the wrong way around, and uh, yeah, so first action. Uh, yeah, so we'll move here, and there's one clue here, and uh, when you draw a hazard, treachery, a violet, precious ice sheet, add one cross token to the chaos bag, cancel the card's effect and discard it, okay, and we add some new locations. Uh, we'll get uh, icy wastes, and uh, I think that is it. Ice waste, waste comes here. We'll add some location connectors. And uh, that is everything. Yeah. Then uh, we'll investigate. I'm using the lockpicks again. Uh, investigating 9 versus 4. Minus two, we succeed, we'll grab this clue. And uh, last action, we'll move to Icy Wastes and we'll spend one clue per investigator. Uh, Icy Wastes, two shroud, two clues. Uh, treat the modifier for the first uh, frost token reel during each skill test at Icy Wastes at minus three instead of minus one. Okay. So we need to grab these clues now. And uh, that is our turn. Enemy base, this guy. Oh yeah, uh, we moved on to, so we'll get one card, Ostian Bargain, and we gain one resource for Jack's ability. Then this guy hunts here. Uh, we go to upkeep. We draw two cards. I'll actually grab the Intel report because now we can just grab these clues and move more. Oh yeah, and we move to a new location, so we need to add some locations. So we get a rem remnants of Lake Camp, uh, we get Iceberg Landing, and that is it. So remnants comes here, and the Icebreaker Landing comes over here. We add some connectors over here and over here and yeah this goes away or has gone away and uh, we gain one resource so that is that turn let's go to the next turn we add a doom so five of uh, seven encounter card is uh, a pair of phobia uh, test Willpower X, where X is your location's shelter value. If you fail, you must decide. Choose one, take one horror for each point you fail by. 
place two of your clues on your location, add one frost token to the back, so I'm pretty sure we're adding the frost token. Uh, we are testing uh, the shelter, here is four, so one versus four, zero, we fail by... Actually, I'm taking a risk here, so... Uh, we fail by three, so I'll take three horror. So we are down to two sanity left. And that is that, so we'll go to the investigation phase. First action, I will use the lockpicks. Investigating uh, uh, 9 versus 2, minus 4, so it is uh, 9 versus 6, so we grab one clue. Second action will investigate again. This time I will use. Uh, I think we use unexpected courage, and uh, that is it. So uh, 6 versus 2, minus 4. Lucky we had the unexpected courage there, so we grab this clue. Last action, uh, we we actually use the shortcut here. So shortcut to uh, hmm, barrier camp or remnant of remnants of lake camp. I think I'll go to the remnants of the lake camp. So we spend four clues to get there. And the shelter here is seven, so I think we just need to get the clues out of here and resign next round. And I think that should be quite quite doable. Uh, last action. I'm actually playing the Intel report, spending four to grab two clues. That is our turn. Enemy face, the enemy here hunts the precious ice sheet. Oh yeah, we moved and um, uh, we moved one, so I'll just take a sauce. Then, uh, uh, yeah, uh, we ready up. We draw two cards and I'll take the intel report. So we're pretty much set to succeed. And that is that turn will also get one resource, so that is that turn, let's go to the next turn. Yeah, last turn we forgot to add this location that is connected to the, uh, the our location here, so those are connected. I think we don't, won't go there, this game at least. Okay, so we add a Doom, uh, 6 of 7 and counter card. Is uh, skittering nonsense. Okay, so uh, first action. So this engages us. I won't even bother marking it. Uh, so we'll fast play obfuscation. Comes into play with three charges. We'll spend one charge to play inter report. Grab this clue and uh, resigning uh, doesn't cause attacks of opportunity, so I will just resign on this location. So, um, uh, action if each investigator is at the same location and that location has no clues on it, resign. Set up camp, each investigator resigns. Objective find somewhere safe to set up camp. If each undefeated investigator has resigned, advance. The higher the shelter value of the location they resign that, the better. And uh, we get resolution one. So, resolution one. Uh, choose a location in play with no clues on it. If Camp by log, write camp uh, next to it, record the location's name, so we record remnants of lake camp as the camp site. This location is referred to as the investigator's camp for the rem remainder of the ice and death scenario. Uh, record the camp, camp shelter value in parentheses next to its name, so it's 7. Each investigator earns experience equal to the camp shelter value to a maximum of 
three uh, to a minimum of three actually plus the victory x value of each card in the victory display so we don't have any cards in the victory display and the uh, shelter value is seven so we get seven experience which is quite good i think um in the exec expedition team section of the campaign log record the amount of damage and horror on each partner asset in play it is zero proceed to checkpoint one the disappearance so uh the dis uh, Disappearance 1, uh, fluff text, uh, find and gather the story assets corresponding to the surviving members of the expedition team. Shuffle them and randomly select a number of them equal to your camp's shelter value. Those characters are safe and I think this also is included. So we have 8... Uh, partners here so we'll shuffle these and uh, there are eight so uh, we pick seven at random so i'll just pick one that goes missing in action so let's see who gets the shafts here so it's dr uh, maya uh, sinha so let's see uh, then uh, we put that investigator in the camp I lock under the expedition team and write missing MIA, so missing in action next to the name of each character who went missing. The investigators must decide, choose one. They're, they're on their own, you will skip the next part of the scenario, proceed to disappearance 2, or uh, go after the missing team members, you will play the next part of the scenario, skip to disappearance 3, if you wish to do so immediately or disappearance for if you wish to take a break and proceed the next time you play no i'm actually yeah i'm picking the uh go after mm, yeah i'm i'm actually going after the missing team members so i'll skip to disappearance four so uh, you decide to go after your missing team members uh, in the ice and death section of the campaign log under locations revealed record each location you have revealed these locations will start in play and reveal and reveal the next time you play clean up the game as normal when you are ready to play again play uh, begin at ice and death part 2 so that was uh, ice and death part 2 and uh, i will upgrade the deck with the seven experience uh, i'll record the locations we uh, already have discovered and continue from there next time and uh, uh, dr maya sinha is missing in action so we are trying to rescue her next time so that was uh, ice and death uh, part one hope you guys like this playthrough thanks for watching and until next time